it is only god who knows the future of men's destinies and there are times you need to lock up yourself you have an opportunity for a great job an oil company and then god is calling you into ministry don't assume you can assume you are called into ministry and reject the oil company and find out you were not called into the fivefold ministry you think i would say it the other way around there are times where you are not called the oil company was what you would have taken and you reject it just assuming that because you will suffer as if god did not call you and at a point you say what is wrong and god will say i called you generally but not to this assignment every wrong decision wasting your destiny some of you made careless destiny decisions and prayed may the god of mercy i'm praying again may the god of mercy help you may the god of mercy come through for you in the name of jesus christ when i began to sense in my heart that god would have me leave zaria to abuja I loved Zaria so much. I mean, ministry was going exceptionally well. God was doing something within that region that I had not seen since I came there. It was, it was, a, it was a season of phenomenal ministerial strides. How does God come in the midst of nothing and now says, "I struggled with God for three years." And there are prayers where you say, God, confirm. You have asked for trouble. God will confirm it anyway. You will use dreams, a scripture, visions, enemies, friends. Everything will confirm it. God for you. It's interesting to know how I finally camped in Abuja. It was during COVID. I just returned from London where the last set of people to leave. And I thank God for that. I would have been trapped in that place for three months. I returned back. To Abuja preparing to go for a miracle service in Zaria when they just announced the lockdown and say nobody is going anywhere I stayed in Abuja and that was it you see that now but I used that opportunity alone I started praying and God said finally now that I have your attention this is a new season finally we are stepping into okay I started praying by the map of Abuja the map of Nigeria, the map of Africa, the map of the globe. Keep praying on it. That is your assignment. I look at myself now and wonder, what if I resisted and say, you don't know what you are doing. You, don't, you are not in Zaria, oh God. I'm the one who knows what is happening. He will leave you. But you will see that you will keep seeing things in the spirit that you are rising and it will never manifest. For some of you, after this conference, go for a retreat bring your major plans for this year and for the next 10 years don't assume take this as a prophetic instruction don't assume you are about to take decisions that affect your establishment don't hurry decisions no is what it to if you get a decision right it can redeem 20 years you miss out on a decision is like the hand of the clock it will come back but time will be lost and destiny is measured as a unit of time who is god speaking to please go for a retreat oh, after this conference thank god for the women go for a retreat lord i'm not going to make this major financial decision major marital decision major ministerial decision i cry unto you the god of all grace speak to me what is the next season of my life church is quiet i'm assuming that the word is entering your spirit praise the name of the lord that's why you can see ordinary people who don't look like it but their decisions are always destiny defining you know why they have mastered the art of engaging this prayer god should i pursue should i overtake should i pursue you will see a building that does not make sense and the spirit of god tells you let's go to the place of prayer fast for two days by the second day god will tell you this building you see a company is coming to buy it in two months buy it now you will sell it for 10 times the price buy it now other people they leave all these carcass but because you had him you can just go with childlike faith and even make a deposit just to trap it down Two weeks later, people are calling you and saying, X, Y, Z. You say, I can't believe it. Is it a scam? They say, no. They need this building. 
whatever price name your price add profit add commit add everything we still want it and someone will look at you and say how, how is your life working like this the power of hearing from god this is the model that many of our fathers in the faith taught us they would tell you god said this look at where rccg is for instance you know every time i have the opportunity to pass that place i imagine if god told me to go to that place i will most likely disobey honestly i'm being sincere with you under god i will most likely i'll ask him for forgiveness later on but most likely i would have disobeyed when you see the end point of prophecy it looks glorious but you rewind in your mind and see that bush that's when you see the power of hearing god but i know whom i have believed and i am persuaded that he is able to keep that which is committed unto him against that day behind the giant strides that trail believers is obedience to something they are sure god said can i tell you this if you take a step knowing and or believing it was god that led you and god sees the sincerity of your heart even if you are in error he would defend you for his namesake this is one thing i know about god that means if i walk through this led believing that it was a door and believing that it was god that told me to walk there god will carry a door and put there for my sake to make sure that it is not that i trust in him is a risk look at what he told peter if it be thou bid me come peter verified this is an example of such prayer peter said tell me if you are the one and he said come peter took the step of faith but because he was sinking god took responsibility it was at my word and he held him don't be afraid of obeying god there is a system to defend his name in your life sometimes when you become too calculative and scientific okay god you've told me this but let's consider we'll review this again in 2027 it won't work that way there are times you have to trust god and walk on water this is a word for someone you have to trust god and walk on water being unnecessarily scientific will not get you forward he said register the company don't ask questions go and register the company where will i get the contract leave that to god you take a step of faith he says go for a three-day retreat don't say god what for is disobedience you just go there first after the first day you are prayed you are hungry you don't even know what you are doing in that room you just stay there the answer is coming hmm. let me give you the last one You agreed with me this morning to challenge your prayer life oh i hope we're still together yes, let's review number one praying in the spirit number two yes, number three the prayer of inquiry can i give you number four the second the fourth model of prayer is warfare 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 this one i would not even be tempted to delve in i would just touch it in a hurry else will spend the whole day here warfare prayer warfare prayer hmm. <sighs> philippians chapter 1 and verse 19 the assignment of warfare prayer is to establish the realities that have been finished in christ to make them manifest in your life I like how the Bible puts it to turn anything to your salvation is the assignment of warfare prayer warfare prayer is not about fighting demons it's not about fighting spirits It's establishing the victory that is already wrought in Christ are we together over spirits over situations over circumstances I like the way the Bible puts it to turn things for your salvation it says for I know that this shall turn to my salvation how through your prayers and the supply of the spirit of jesus christ i know that this disappointment i know that this attack my god there are things every believer must know i know that this family crisis i know that this court case the assignment of warfare is to turn anything to your advantage anything anything to your advantage 
there are times when you come close to a tree when you don't pluck the fruits on time they start rotting and they fall to the ground but the earth has a unique way of turning everything to the advantage of the soil are we together it now becomes manure something that you see bringing flies and smelling around and the earth is not threatened by it it's a mentality you must have as a believer you must look at everything from the standpoint of god's sovereign plan there is still a way god can get glory from this you were sent away from your work okay the deed has been done what else can be done from this i know that even in the midst of this it can still turn for my salvation this was paul's mentality when he got into prison he would not sit down and say god why me he would use the opportunity in the prison because he knew something he would write letters to the churches and say i hear that you people are misbehaving i'm soon coming out of this prison i will come and visit you but in the meantime correct this correct that he was a man who knew that to live is christ and even to die is gain you must know this warfare prayer is predicated on an understanding that all things work together for good please hear me to them that love god not to everybody all things work together for good to them that love god and to them who are the called according to his purposes believe that all things are working for your good truly believe it the disappointment the joblessness including what you think is happening nationally lord i don't know how you do this but because i am the called it must work for my good in the name of jesus christ work for my good and you engage in the place of prayer are we together yeah. scriptural prayer model you may want to correct that i see someone projecting my message scriptural prayer models ends with an s scriptural prayer models please thank you scriptural prayer models warfare now there are people who do not believe in warfare prayer it depends on what you call warfare i personally do not believe in an endless struggle of fighting demons and fighting spirits with no victory in view that becomes an insult to what christ has done on the cross are we together yes however let me assure you that nothing gets established on its own satan and all unclean spirits are stubborn spirits meaning that they have a passion to insist on your pain until you disengage them by light i desire to come to you even i paul once and again he said but satan hindered us knowing that victory has been wrought in christ does not threaten satan is engaging and appropriating that victory that threatens him satan is not afraid of scripture he's afraid of the believer who understands how to engage scripture for your profiting hallelujah he will kill anything he's allowed to kill steal anything he's allowed to steal and you believe me on this destroy anything he's allowed to destroy this is the assignment of warfare prayer haven't done all to stand stand don't assume that god loves your children so much they will be nice wonderful and disciplined people engage in the spirit when you see the cloud when you see the formation of darkness that is the time to take on your priestly regalia and get to the place of prayer the bible says if you turn aside in the day of adversity there is a day in everybody's life called the day of adversity you don't have to be good or bad he informs you pre-informs you so that number one you build prayer strength prayer power for those days and that when those days come you can engage there are times that it looks like all hell have chosen to break loose over you your marriage your children your health are we together now you must know how to engage warfare prayers warfare prayers are serious times of spiritual adventure usually they do not go with you praying alone there are times you need to draw forth the support of other brethren people who love you and understand because you need to engage with power warfare prayer this is very important Jesus 
is about to go to the cross and he goes to Gethsemane and the Bible tells us that he locked up himself and he was praying until the the um, the sweat became like blood dripping from him the question is what kind of prayer is that that the word incarnate the very son of God there have been times in my life where I had to engage that kind of prayer let me give you two information about warfare prayer every time seasons are about to change this is the kind of prayer you need to engage in because satan will always start at stand at the corridor of new seasons birthday periods anniversary periods do you know it was during i told you yesterday it was during a man's birthday that a prophet's head went away I have taught my people and trained them that before you celebrate your birthday, if your birthday is on the 12th, by 9th or 10th or 11th, you should have some time of retreat. Now, not many, it's not, a, it's not a scriptural injunction, it's just a prophetic guide. I don't believe in people sleeping and snoring themselves into defining seasons. No, that is a careless Christian, in my opinion, honestly. Honestly when jesus was born there were reactions in the heavens when jesus was about to be commissioned there were reactions when jesus was about to start the core of his assignment his passion there were reactions when he died there were reactions when he resurrected there were reactions on the day of pentecost there were reactions there are certain kairos moments in our lives where you cannot afford to slumber while men slept there are defining seasons in your life. You are about to celebrate your...